Okay, evaluate the root. Now, this is what we call a square root. That means if you don't have a, see some of these other ones, you have like a third root, a fourth root. If you don't have a root, it's a second root. That's kind of the universal to two. Now, you don't take, it's not a power, it's a root. Root is like the opposite of a power. So what you're essentially doing is finding two of the same factor that multiplied to the value 49. Okay, so I don't think it's 1 times 1. Pretty sure it's not 2 times 2. 3 times 3, no. 4 times 4, no. 5 times 5, no. 6 times 6, no. 7 times 7, there you go, 49. So the answer is 7. Okay. Now, the cube root of 27. Put e actually put equals 7, please. Now the cube root of 27 means you got 27 as your product, but what are the three? I now there's three because it's a cube root. So now there's three identical factors that we need to multiply to 27. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Okay, so the answer is 3. Okay, the fourth root is 16. So, product 16, but now there are four identical factors that would multiply to 16. Okay, I don't think it's one, that would just be one. So, you can go two, there it is, 16. So, this equals two. Okay, the square root of 100, that means what times what equals 100. Now, you probably know it's not 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 6. 7 times 7. 8 times 8. 9 times 9. 10 times 10. There's your 100. Okay, the cube root of 343. So... What times what times what equals 343? One time, it, it's not one. It wouldn't be two because that's eight. 27. 64. 125. 216. Okay, I think it's seven. And the last one of these, what times what times what times what, because it's a fourth root, equals 625. Well, it's not 1. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 16. 81. 256. 625, so the answer is equal to 5. Basically, it's asking you what to the fourth power is 625, so we know it's 5. Now, you're going to learn something new here. We've done exponents, but we have not done fraction exponents. Okay, 8 to the 2 thirds power. Here's what a rational exponent means. When you have a number on the bottom, it's a fraction exponent. You make a root, and the bottom number is, what is the third root. Then you put the 8 inside, you make a parenthesis, and you put that second power outside. That's how to rewrite that. Now, first, we need to find what the cube root of 8 is. So what times what times what equals 8? I don't think it's 1. 2 times 2 times 2, that's your 8. Okay. So, cross out this, or just slash it out and put 2, but you still have the second power. Now you take 2 times 2, and that's 4. So 4 is your answer. Okay, 25 to the 3 over 2 power, the 3 halves power is what that's called. Okay, so first you make a root, and it's a, set, a square root. You put 25 inside, and after that's found, we take it to the third power. So that means what times what is 25, because it's a second root. Uh, I don't think it's 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. I think it's 5 times 5. So now we have 5, but we still have 5 to the third power. 
Now we take 5 times 5 times 5, and that's 125. That's your answer. Okay, 81 to the 1 half power. So again, you make a root, a square root, 81. Okay. And if you want to put it in parentheses, really, if it's going to be a first power, you really don't need the parentheses and you don't need the first power, but I'll put it just to be consistent with my instructions. So it's a second root, a square root, so what times what is 81? I don't think it's 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 6, no. 7 times 7, no. 8 times 8, no. 9 times 9, there you go. Okay. So 9 to the first power is just 9. Okay. Next one, 625 to the power of 3 fourths. So it's going to be a fourth root with, of 625. And then after that has been found, we raise it to the third power. So the fourth root, what times what times what times what is 625? It's not 1. For it to be 1, there would have to be 1. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, that's eight. That's 81. 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, 256. 625, okay? So, I got, it's 5. So, 5 to the 3rd. And 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Okay, 16 to the power of 3 halves, 3 over 2. So make that into a root. It's going to be a 6, then it's going to be a square root, a second root with 16 raised to the power of 3. So what times what is 16? Well, I don't think it's 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4, 16. Okay. So then 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Okay, 125 to the 2 thirds power. So again, circle that. Make a root. This is called a root radical. It's a third root with 125 to the second power. So what times what times what is 125? It's not 1. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 4. There's your 125. So this is 5 to the second power. And then 5 times 5 is 25. That is how you evaluate a rational exponent. Now, last part. We're going to simplify these expressions, okay? Just make your three lines. So we have 122 thirds and two thirds. So we got 125 times x, okay? Then one, one times two thirds would be two thirds. Then two thirds times two thirds is four ninths, okay? So here are my exponents. They're both stay. And now we need to evaluate this 125, that one right there. So I go off to the side, okay? And I have a 3, so I make a root 3 up here with a 125 inside, put it in parentheses to the second. So what times what times what is 125? Well, it's not 1. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 27. 64. 125. Okay, so this is 5, but we still have 5 to the second. Then 5 times 5 is 25. So this becomes 25, and then the x, we're going to stay to the 4 ninths power. Okay, 81 times x to the 6, and then the 1 half. So 81 times x, then 1, 1 times 1 half is 1 half, 6 times 1 half is 3. So those are going to stay, both of them, because they're both positive exponents. 
but now I have to figure out what 81 to the one half power actually is. Okay, so make a root. It's a second root with 81 to the first power. So what times what is 81? Well, I don't think it's 1. I don't think it's 2. I mean, 5 times 5, you know, is 25. So 49, 64, 81. So 9, that's 9 right there. So it's 9 to the first power, okay? And 9 to the first power is equal to 9. So 9 times x to the third. Okay, next one, the quantity 25 times x to the eighth to the three halves. So you have 25 times x. 1 times 3 over 2 is 3 over 2. 8 times 3 over 2 gives me 12. So both of those are stay. Okay, so this guy right here we have to evaluate. So I make a second root with 25 inside raised to the third power. So what times what is 25 first? It's not 1, 2, 3, 3, 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25, okay? So you have 5 to the third power, okay? Then 5 times 5 times 5 equals 125. So then this turns into 125 times x to the 12th power. Okay, and the last one, 625 times x to the 12th power times y to the negative 8th power, and then we have the whole quantity to the negative 3 fourths power. So we have 625 times x times y. So 1 times negative 3 fourths is negative 3 fourths. 12 times negative 3 fourths is going to be negative 9. Negative 8 times negative 3 fourths, 6. Okay. Now, these two are switched. You switch those to the bottom so that they can be written as positive exponents. And y to the 6 stays on top. So on top we have y to the 6, and that's it. Now we have to evaluate what 625 to the 3 fourths power is. So what that means is the root, it's a fourth root. 625 to the third power, okay? So what times what times what times what equals 625? I don't think it's 1, 2, nope, nope, nope. 625, so this is 5 to the third power. Okay, and then 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So after all that work, 125 has to be on bottom. That's where the 625 to the 3 fourths power is at. So 125 is in the denominator on the bottom times x to the ninth.